Are you into Proto Hologram? Stay tuned. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, according to Allied Market Research, the global digital clothing industry is estimated to reach $4.8 billion by 2031, a significant step up from the $498.7 million it generated in 2021. In its latest report, the firm outlined an analysis of various market trends, segments, investment areas and the competitive landscape. It noted that much of the industry's past rise could be attributed to the restrictions the pandemic presented, which resulted in the acceleration of the market and the normalization of democratized digital fashion. Other growth areas, including the advancement of augmented reality R and virtual reality VR and gaming, as well as non-fungible tokens and FTs, presented further opportunities, possibly counteracting the current high costs of digital garments that are said to be hindering the market's growth. News Source, Fashion United Google YIs Google Cloud created an inventory scanning system that uses AI image processing to enable retailers to automatically track items on store shelves. The system leverages a Google library with billions of data points to identify products in photos taken from multiple angles. Google's new offering augments other services it has developed to help retailers boost efficiency and digitize their stores. It will be available to retailers in the coming months. News Source, Retail Dive H&M has installed a proto-hologram display in its location in the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. As part of the H&M Move concept, which combines the brick-and-mortar retail experience with a promotional campaign for H&M Move an athletic clothing line, along with dance and exercise classes featuring active class providers like Grindhouse and Good Move. The proto-epic hologram display has been installed in the front window of the store and offers life-size, 4K UHD holograms of instructors wearing the Move athletic clothing line. News Source Digital signage today. As the demand for realistic visual effects VFX grows, so do the needs of those creating that content. One organization uses a massive array of 144 Sony mirrorless cameras to generate detailed digital assets in support of VFX artists. Peri's Digital uses what is called photogrammetry, a technique where a 3D model can be generated by capturing multiple angles with an array of cameras. We can produce a 3D model with the geometries, textures, and materials of an object, being a garment, a prop, or a set decoration item, the company says. This particular array uses a rig of 144 Sony Alpha 7C and Alpha 7R4 cameras that can quickly scan any subject along with the accessories, garments, props, or other decorations so that they can be turned into a usable VFX asset. News Source, Peta Pixel China-based Alibaba announced its expansion of Buy Now, Pay Later BNPL services for customers in Germany, Spain, and France, with the hopes that it will boost e-commerce sales internationally. Alibaba's overall revenue growth has slowed over the last year, and orders placed on its international marketplace, AliExpress, declined in the last three quarters. News Source, Wall Street Journal, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.